Jaquem Stewart. Get used to the name. We got a guy on the other team. His name's Stanley. 6'6", 275 pounds. And I ain't stopping nobody from taking a shot. Hey, Jaquem, you gonna ball out the day. You kidding me, real fast? That's what I work for. Let's go. No more playing the nation. Let's go! This is my home. We're at the practice field. This is where we come out. This is where we get to work in. Right here. All right here. It was founded in 1951, Santa Cruz High School. All black school, all boy back school, you know, Catholic. It mean a lot to me. It mean a lot to everyone that attend here, you know. You see our young dudes right here, they getting after it. Put me fade. Oh my God! Oh my God! After this, I'm gonna put that work in. Like always, no days off, I get after it. This field means a lot to me. This is what I love to do. This time, go around the left side of the barrel. By you being a taller dude, it's easier if you swipe down. All right. Man, Jaquem's a special kid. You know, when you see him, you see a big kid and a big guy, this brutal force, but the thing that's different about Jaquem, he has excellent technique. You know, when you're bigger than everybody, you're stronger than everybody, it's real easy to just get caught up in being a bully. You don't expect a kid that big to be that, that athletic. The kid's 6'6", 280 pounds. You know, the kid has 84-inch uh, wingspan. You know, it's like a small bird. When he plays this game, he plays at a high level, and he plays with vicious, malicious intent. He does it naturally, and it's like a, a, a switch that flips. I think the, the kid, you know, is gonna play on Sundays one day for a long time. Everything gotta be with quick feet. Slow feet don't eat. You're never gonna outwork him. So when you company what God blessed him with, along with what he's willing to work for and his work rate, you know, the kid's gonna be unstoppable. I met Coach Clyde three years ago. I look up to Coach Clyde, you know. I look up to him like a dad. He treat me like a son. He teach me the game of life right now, not the athletic part of football. He know that I have that. So me just learning from him slowly, 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 every day, progress and progress. And he trying to program in my mind that football is just a piece of my goal that I'm trying to accomplish in life. If you want to be great, if you want to be a Hall of Famer, that's what it takes. Home, home. This is where I'm from, Reserve, Louisiana, St. John Parish. Um, that's where I grew up at. That's where I was born and raised. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> I remember back when I was young. I'm still there, I'm 16, but I remember back when I was young, you know. We used to come back here, you know, run up levees, how we usually do as kids, and just play football. I started watching NFL when I was three years old, and that's when I really first jumped off the porch and really started playing football, you know. And ever since, I've been in love with the sport and the game. I really started seeing progress five, six years ago. Uh, I was playing Little League, and I was just manhandling everybody. I got my first offer in seventh grade, University of Georgia, you know. And like the same day, I got Florida, and the next day, I got Auburn, and it just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming in. I got the invite to uh, All-American game. I dominated that game. You know, people was coming up to me telling me that you this young with all these offers, like, how you not big-headed? So, and I said, like, it's just, just my mindset, just how I grew up, just how my family taught me. This is actually Mississippi River right here. I live five minutes from Mississippi River, you know? But back in 2019, 2020, we had a hurricane called Hurricane Ida. The house I was living in, it got flooded to my shin. All my family houses got destroyed. It was bad. A lot of buildings got messed up. As you can see, after hurricane season, we use these blue tarps on top of the houses to keep the rain from coming inside the houses. We're here, you know, so just happy that we made it out safe. With the uh, goals I have right now, I, I pray and wish that I could buy my family, my grandma, my uncle, my mom a big house, you know? And I, I think that with the route I'm going on right now, I think I'm gonna accomplish that goal. Yes, sir, I attend an all-boys school, all-black boys school. But 
They teach us little things like this. How to tie a tie, how to wear your clothes properly. It's just, you know, being you. The boy sent the custom one of the best schools in the country to attend. If you're a boy, you trying to make your way up. The part of me going to school is really to get my education and to be successful in life. Football is just a part of that, that journey. This is my big bro, Sean Watch the Rings. You know, he, he gave us the coach Clyde. So every time I wake up in the morning, I look down and I see these four rings and it mean a lot to me. Cause one day I could be there. You know, one day I may have my own trophy. Who knows? I knows. I'm gonna put the work in every day. This school is a pride and joy to sit in New Orleans. Football at St. Augustine High School means so much to this city. We have earned three state titles. Since 1969, the school has produced 41 NFL players. We pride ourselves on making sure our young men are ready and prepared for the next level of education. Just like Joaquin will be that special young man that graduates from here. Lock room. This, this way to put us since our, um, our building and stuff getting remodeled. November 25th, 2021, it was Thanksgiving Day. We're laying in a new court based off of Hurricane Ida. The team left out combustible material. We unfortunately succumbed to a fire because of the building being uh, renovated. We also have trailers that we have placed on our schoolyard. And in those trailers is the locker rooms and showers. We have the young men working uh, on one of our parking lots with a makeshift weight room. Right now we keep our weights in the storage container because our weight room at the gym, it, got, it caught a fire, but there's no excuses, gotta get better, you gotta get after every day. I work out five, six days a week, you know, that one day for recovery, but this is what it takes to be great, you know, go to college, Achieve your goal. Gotta be here every day. We rock with the New Jerseys. They big, dog. But I'm gonna make some shit. <laughs> Joaquin Stewart. He's a humble giant. And he does not get rattled, and he's a teammate. He's one of the teammates' biggest cheerleaders. I love to see him interacting with his team. He's a young leader. I say that about him. He's aggressive. He's just a fun kid to have around. People outside, people think he's like this big recruit. But when he with us, he's just like a little brother to us. We, he take care of us, we take care of him. It's fun to get dressed, it's fun to put on my pants, my girdle, prepare for the game, eat. He really plays for all of us too. He wants to make us proud, and he does that every game. This is the most jokes you had since you came out of here. Oh, 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 this game bigger than what it is. The goal is tonight to go one and zero. Once to go one and zero, everybody got to do their job tonight. Most important thing, have fun. Have fun doing it. Jaquim doing, he doing good. He doing exactly what he's supposed to do. No more playing the nation is doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Nothing less, nothing more. He's doing exactly what he has to do. He's filling his gap, making his tackles. Anything come his way, he's sailing it off. 
They say you scream that and alright? So just settle down, play your game. Uh -huh. Recovery day. Most times after the game, we come back to some active recovery. Five weeks in, got a long way to go. So try to keep as fresh as we can. But you always gotta stay 100% in order to get your body, your blood flowing. You after ever again, you don't want to just stiffen up your body. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. And that's one thing my boy do, that it works for itself. He ain't never not once tell me that he was in the top of his class, like the top in his, you know, for his class, and the top recruit, and I've been cutting, we clown everything. You know, and took somebody else to tell me, I'm like, wait, hold up, Jackie, that's my class. He down bad, but I like that. He don't talk too much. He, you know what I'm saying? He, He's, he's moving on the field. I'm here to get a haircut, dog. I ain't here to talk about recruiting. But listen, we talk sports, we talk about everything. You can at least talk, talk about that. life, talk about everything. Yeah, you can even like, you know, man, I'm in my top class. He ain't never seen it. He ain't never asked me, to be honest. <laughs> Looking like a new man. Looking like some money. How, how, how you say it, Chris Lott? I currently have 26 offers right now, you know. Me just maintaining humble. And I, I didn't even play my freshman year. You know, it, it means a lot to me that people really see who I am and that whenever I step on a football field, I'm going to dominate every chance I get. Hey, I appreciate you watching that video. But before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.